Okay, so today I'm gonna try to make Red Bull. Now, this recipe is actually a little bit more interesting and definitely has a few quirks that I did not expect when I started to make this. However, I think it's pretty cool. There's definitely some weird ingredients in this, but when I was making it, it made me feel like part evil wizard and part alchemist. So this recipe is definitely really fun. And honestly, if you wanna follow at home, it's actually not that hard to make this. So let's go ahead and get started. Like all good recipes, this recipe starts with citrus. And specifically, we're gonna need four oranges and two lemons. And even more specifically, we're gonna need the peels of those. Now, if you've got a peeler at home, your life's gonna be a lot easier, and I like to make my life harder. So I'm gonna be peeling these lemons and oranges with a knife. What, what should have taken me three minutes ended up taking me about 15, and those lost 13 minutes I'll never be getting back. Okay, so once I got all of the orange peels, what you need to do next is basically add one cup of sugar. Now this is for sweetness, but actually what we're doing here is making something what's known as an oleosaccharum, which definitely sounds like something in alchemy. Inside of the peels of citrus are these tiny sacks of citrus oil, and these basically give the flavor of the orange. Now they're protected by these cell walls, and so what we're actually gonna do is the sugar's gonna kind of partially break down those cell walls, and the citrus oil is gonna leak out and collect into the sugar. If we coat all the peels in sugar and we let it go, we'll end up with something like this, which is the oleosaccharum. All of that syrup that you see collected down at the bottom is full of a citrus smell and taste. I let mine go overnight, and that's this is basically how much I collected. But if you let this go for longer, you can even extract more. However, you run into the risk of basically mold and other stuff getting in there. So, you know, like all good things in life, you gotta you gotta take risks if you want the reward. Okay, so now that I have the oleosaccharum, it's gonna be the primary base of the flavoring, but there's other stuff in Red Bull that gives it its flavor. And most of that are some weird herbs. So starting with ginger, which is not weird, I'm gonna add ginseng and I'm gonna add some licorice root. Now the licorice root I think might be optional. I'm not really sure. So if you make it, maybe try to omit it and see how it comes out. I'll put all the ingredient amounts that I use down in the description down below. Now these ingredients definitely look like they could be used in a spell. All right, now that I've got the witchy part of this recipe done, it's time to move on to the sciencey part. And for that, we're gonna actually need some caffeine and something known as taurine. These are both found in Red Bull and Caffeine, obviously, you're probably familiar with. The amount of Red Bull that I'm making is about four cans worth, so I'm gonna be adding the equivalent of about 400 milligrams of caffeine to my Red Bull recipe. Now, I really should be using gloves here, but thankfully this isn't a large amount of caffeine, um, but definitely best practices are to use gloves, especially because caffeine is absorbed through the skin. The next thing I'm gonna add is taurine, which from what I can research, doesn't really do anything, at least clinically hasn't been proven to do anything. However, it is the primary component of bile, uh, so maybe that's what gives Red Bull its unique taste. So I'm gonna add the equivalent amount that you'd find in a can of Red Bull, which is about one gram per can, so I'm adding four grams of chlorine to a plate, and I'm gonna add that in later. Next, it's time to actually make the tea and Red Bull. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is heat up two cups of water, and then I'm gonna add in the ginseng, licorice root, and ginger, and I'm gonna let that boil for a little bit. And then I'm going to add in the citrus peels, and that's partially for the flavor, but also because I just really wanna collect all of that syrup that was remaining on there. I'm gonna let this boil for about four minutes total, and then at that point, I'm actually gonna use the same sieve that I used to actually strain the oleosaccharum, um, just to again, rinse off any possible sugar syrup that was left on the sieve. Now, collected down below, we're almost done with the Red Bull syrup. There's just a few more things that I need to add. First, I'm gonna need to add some lemon juice. The fresh lemon juice is a different flavor than the oleosaccharum, which is kind of more of like an orange candy flavor. The lemon juice here is really gonna add citric acid and make it sour. And I always find that Red Bulls, they're quite sour. So I added the juice of two lemons to the syrup. Then we can add the powdered taurine and caffeine to the syrup. Give this a really good mix, and then we're gonna actually just let this cool down. So I just transferred it to a mason jar and let it cool in the fridge for a few hours. At which point we can add the last thing that we find in Red Bull, which is B vitamins. Now there's just kind of a bevy of B vitamins in Red Bull. Again, it's not really clear if this does anything, especially at the levels that we're getting here. However, I'm really trying to recreate Red Bull here. So basically just added three doses of a B vitamin complex to this, gave this a mix, and then it's actually time to make the Red Bull. So to do this, all I gotta do is pour off about one fourth of the syrup and then add in some seltzer water and give that a light mix and boom, here is the Red Bull. Now, how does it taste? All right, so I finished the recipe and now it's time for a taste test. So I have the original Red Bull here in a glass and then I have basically my version. Now obviously there's a difference in appearance and I think that has to do with the fact that they're using clarification here. If for example, I maybe added a little bit of gelatin to this and then strain it off, I might get something a little closer to this and there are techniques that come from beer making to basically clean up cloudy stuff like this and turn it more into like this. But for me, I'm okay with this color and I think it looks okay. So now the main question is, how does it taste? 
first, let me just taste the Red Bull to remind myself because it's been a while. That's Red Bull. Very sweet, very sour, and it's got like a medicinal taste to it. Now let's try the homemade Red Bull. Honestly, it's pretty good. It doesn't taste exactly like Red Bull. I would say that there's almost like more of an apple juice flavor with this, so maybe they've added something like malic acid to it to make it sour. Um, but this is uh, this is pretty close. This almost tastes a little bit closer to a like emergency tablet. If any of you guys have ever had that, like one of those seltzer tablets, uh, it tastes kind of similar to that. Um, but it's not that different, honestly. Um, there's definitely some crossover between these two flavors. Now that being said, if you're gonna make yourself an energy drink, instead of having a Red Bull, which is not everybody's cup of tea, um, why don't you make one that is basically the same thing and is what you want? So if you wanna make this a little bit different and add some strawberries to it or whatever, you can make your own. Now you know how to make an energy drink. All right, that's it for this week. I hope to see you guys again soon and I'll see you later. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.